Now, you know what every path to a shop in Alaska needs is a good icy patch. Ah, uh, yep, that feels like home. Hello, friends. Today we get to go back to our base and start working on it again now that the shop is finished. But I did want to start off this episode and show you the secrets of the Dark Arts area. As you can see, it is quite dark and skulky. Down here we have end crystals and effect arrows. And to get to it, there's just a little dark corridor that you have to crouch to go through down here. Now you might not have noticed at first glance, but I have been busy in between episodes. That's right, I went ancient debris mining and I ended up with nine netherite ingots. I think I went through three and a half stacks of TNT and yeah, I didn't record anything because I thought it wasn't going to be anything special or exciting, but I did end up dying. I popped my first totem, actually. Um, and, uh, yeah. The, the, the zombie piglins that killed me took my gold helmet that I had made specially for the occasion and also my nice sword. So I did have to go and make another sword. Now, my goal for today is to get a good start on this area, which means that one of the very first things we have to do is move our animals and also our iron farm. I think one of the things that will make this easier is if we just kind of cut down on the number of cows that we have. Hmm, no idea what happened here. Maybe I should have cleared a path first. It's fine. What could go wrong? Oh, we have a wolf. That doesn't bode well for our sheeps. Sorry, bub. Oh, no. He already got them. All of them. All three sheeps. Ah, well. Okay, now... Since we've got most things cleared out of this area, I think the last thing that's left... Oh, God! I was yeah, sure. vibing with, like, the chill music and everything, and then all of a sudden... <laughs> Bam! On fire. Oh, it's my like gosh. <laughs> <laughs> Goodbye. Into their hole. And try to disappear from society. That is always this my goal in life. Is a very, <laughs> very natural behavior for this species called human anxios. <laughs> for this reason, the human anxieties, anxietos, <laughs> hides themselves in holes underground, <laughs> and if not possible, hide themselves behind their computer screens. Some humans anxios try to hide that they are a human anxios by making videos and posting them online. Mm. <laughs> mm. <laughs> you didn't need to you didn't need to go that far. <laughs> her, her, her. I'm one of you guys. Cube. What? Cube. what do you do? Uh, uh, uh. I'm I'm sorry you had to witness that. Um, we need to head this way. Ah. Do you remember this place? This is yeah. where last. This is yes. the last time I kidnapped you. I also took you here. <laughs> this time. Oh my it's gosh! Really different though. <laughs> I was here Welcome not that long ago. Oh my goodness. Oh. Welcome to the end palace. Good lord. This is really this... cool. Gosh. It's going to be a, a little mini shopping district with yeah. 10 different shops. Um, I still need to find out how to distribute the stop shops so who can... I still need to find out who can like set up shop. I love and the coral. How to do that. But yeah, this is my end palace. Do not. 
<laughs> You're so lucky that for some reason my, my I, I tried to hit you like three times and they all missed for some reason. <laughs> I I felt it. The hairs on the back of my neck stood up. <laughs> So, speaking of uh, murdering innocent things, mm -hmm. do you murder an innocent coral reef for this? No, actually not. I made a <laughs> coral farm for it. Nice. Wait, you can do that? Wait, what? Wanna, you want to see Wait, it? Yeah, 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 yes, please. I did not know this was a thing. We go up here. We got a little loop-de-loop, -loop, a little clock that dispenses bone meal. Uh-huh. And it actually only dispenses bone meal if that coral thing is not there. So gotcha. you can just yeah. keep it running. Um, and then you stand up here and you just... Pearl, it's not your poofer fish. Pearl, stop throwing tridents at me. <laughs> no. Put it back. You know, sounds like a good idea. Hey. No, don't do ah, that. I've never gotten a puffer fish before. Woo! <laughs> I want I want a head. I want a puffer fish head. What? <laughs> You're so evil. <laughs> yes. You you don't get like tropical fish heads, right? Those don't really I Don't know? Maybe? Like I've never seen any, but I also haven't seen anyone kill them, so... Yeah, that's true. Let's give it a try. <laughs> oh, tropical fish, I'm just here to murder you. No need to worry Don't about mind anything. Me. Oh, I do have a yeah. tropical fish head. It's it's just, it's the orange, it's the orange and white version, not like an actual colored version. Uh, but, ah, come back here, you silly little puffer fish. Gotcha. Ow, and I'd be poisoned. You gotta trust me, okay? Okay. Oh, good lord. Just keep going down. Just, just don't, st don't stop ah. or they'll shoot you. Just, just go straight I'm, down. I'm, I'm failing not that miserably. <laughs> oh, there we go. There we go. <laughs> good heavens. Good thing I have respiration. Oh my gosh! <laughs> Rude! Did you have to make it worse with the potion, Charlie? Ooh, it is, is the mine shaft. Ah, and the it's mine completely shaft. empty of mobs. And scary. it's very that is eerie. Really cool, Spooky, though. Scary, scary, scary. It is cool, Shiver. right? Oh no! <laughs> oh. I feel like every Good five Lord. seconds I hear it. <laughs> <laughs> I'm so sorry, this is very normal for me. Are you still in the mine shaft, eh? I am. You lost. Maybe. Yes, the answer is yes. The answer is D yes. Isn't... <laughs> I'm always D lost. Got... D got lost in their own base earlier, so I'm... <laughs> oh dear, oh dear. <laughs> Wait, I did? I also did. have no memory. Oh, where are you? <laughs> You got, you there got you lost are. While, while you were transferring the, this the, way. The, the villagers, right? You got lost in Did your I? tunnels that you Did just I? dug. Yeah, oh, you were yeah. so confused about that yeah. there was a corner in your tunnel, yeah. and then you got lost in your own tunnels, even though there was only <laughs> fucking one tunnel. I knew that was going to happen. Oh my god. <laughs> I was like, I'm going to make this jump, so D tries to make the jump, okay, and which, work, and then it's funny. Which direction? It's this, it's this way. It's okay. this way. Me and... Me and uh... Charlie are both Good very Lord. much chaotic. I'm just gonna like fly yeah. into the lava. It's fine. It's fine. It's fine, guys. I'm fine. <laughs> just you just you just stand on here. Uh huh. You, you look straight up. Straight Make sure up. That you can't look up any further. Okay. Yes. And then do the elytra jump thingy. And the rocket. I feel like maybe the last <laughs> bit is a bit the teacher struggle. And then just keep looking up and keep rocketing. <laughs> And just keep looking straight up. Doing my hacking best, okay? Okay, well, Amy made it through. I'm just sat here waiting. Why Amy is it so slow? You're not flying anymore. Am I not? 
<laughs> he was just, he was just swimming <laughs> upwards. Is there a, is there a loose Nuseta head? There's no loose Nuseta head. Of course there's not. Just Hootie. Is just there Hootie. an Eda head? There's, That's um, the question. I put in... I am I Eda, put, basically. I put in Owl House and it's given me Hunter and King. Apparently this is from the Owl House. I don't watch the Owl House. I never have. But is this... Uh, yeah, Hunter and King. Is this... Hunter is this, and King. Yes. Is this, does this make you laugh? Is it? Oh, it's pretty cool, actually. It's our favorite Demon King. Well, that was not at all what I had planned for my day, but it was very fun nonetheless. And now my gear needs some mending. Not gonna lie, there's something very soothing about this rain and this music. I am a fan. Anyways, we are uh, just getting ready for our first build in our villager area. So this is mostly just for the build itself. Um, and we're also going to put a mud machine in it because it is a coffee shop. Now this build is based off a very specific building. Um, and it's one that has a lot of meaning to me. The building is the original library in my hometown, built in, I think, 1909 or 07. I can't quite remember. Um, but it was, it was used for about six decades, and um, I always wanted to buy the building. It was, on, it was for sale for almost the entire, like, my entire childhood. Um, and I always wanted to buy it. I wanted it to be either a coffee shop slash bookstore or a place for performing arts and like performing arts lessons and all those good things. I'm gonna need a lot more spruce wood. I'm gonna need a lot more wood in general. Oh dear. Unfortunately, it is pretty unlikely that that will ever happen. Um, both because, you know, I'm poor as heck, and that's not going to get any better. Um, but also, it has been bought by, like, a private historical society. And, yeah. I don't, I don't, I don't see myself ever getting that after, <laughs> after that has happened. I'm going to get to live out just a little bit of my dream right here and now. Oh, yes. Amy swung by and promptly proceeded to make me a meal from my donkey and my horse and he's adorable and i love him we are going to use stripped mangrove logs for the actual building part um since this is just the foundation um and i only have four stacks of those so yeah we'll see how that goes we may end up just running over to the shopping district and buying a couple more stacks we'll see We'll see how it goes. Anyways, I'm going to sit here and build, and I'll bring you back with some progress updates. So it turns out I did have enough mangrove logs, which I am very happy about. So now we get to do the satisfying process of stripping them all. Is there anyone else who's not, like, a big fan of the bark textures of, like, the jungle and mangrove trees? And I guess the cherry trees now, too. Uh, be gone. It's not my favorite thing. <gasps> my connected textures is finally updated and works. I updated my mod pack this morning for uh, 1.19.4. Okay, I really like this. So tell me, do you like connected textures or the way that they are in vanilla? Okay, well the easy part is done. The exterior looks good we'll probably add some flowers and decoration to the exterior you know some chairs on the porch maybe um but the basics of the exterior are done and i kind of want to look at the interior now uh which i haven't done nearly as much thinking about what i want that to look like now i may not quite have a perfect idea of everything that i want in here yet but, I do know that we need to put our mud machine up so that 
we know exactly how much space we have to work with. Okay, I think we've got it all filled up there. And that leaves us with just one more thing that we need. And that is a shovel. That's all I need. Oh, this makes my heart happy. Seeing this on my, uh... On, on a Minecraft world. Anyways, let's grab our pooper scooper. I actually kind of really hate the name now that I've given it the name. And the way this is supposed to work, I understand, is you're supposed to be able to basically right click your dirt on and scoop with your, your uh, thingamabob. Actually, you know what? We don't have water bottles in there yet. That would be something we need. Okay, so the way I understand this to work is you place your block. Yes! And what that does is that is then a, an opaque block that powers over here. And this will um, splash it. Oh, gosh. Let me just throw that. Um, this will splash the block and also power this so that it also gives you another dirt. Okay, well that is up and running, and so now we need to just add, um, all of the interior decorating. And so, up, we're, this is going to be the spot for our cleric villagers, and we're gonna have two or three. Um, so obviously we need a place then to hold them, um, and I'm kind of thinking... If we just kind of line a countertop up with with this, then they will be able to just, oh no. They'll be able to just exist in, in here. And we can put, yeah, we can, we can put our countertop like that. And then maybe what we do is then we go like that and put a lower countertop there and that's gonna have our uh brewing stands and there's one more down down in the villager place okay mr skelly goodbye oh gosh oh gosh oh you rude rude Rude. I knew that was going to happen. I knew it. Ah, they're the worst. <sighs> and now all we have left is a little bit of our final decorations. I think I want just a little bit of armor stand magic. And by armor stand magic, I 100% mean that we need a statues book i'll be right back okay so we want arms yes we want gravity no and we will give this one cookies Cookies, take cookies. Come on, take the hecking cookies already. Do you mean to say that you can only take one cookie? That's rude. And there we go. We've got some potions on display as well. Now, there's just one more thing this little coffee shop needs. Well... Something on this wall, for one. But I was thinking more villagers. Time to get these bad boys a rolling. There you go, sir. Let's make sure he gets all the way safely. Oh no, oh no you don't, oh no. And you know what I've just realized? We need a fresh villager for this, which means we need to zombify him. Look at that face. He says, do forgive me. I do have but only two brain cells. Yep, those are the two right there. Of course, of course he went for the barrel. Now, there's a nice little brewing stand right here. 
why? Don't ha at me. Okay, what's your opinion on lessening the glint on the potions bottles? Or is it just gone altogether? Because I noticed that there's like, I think less glint on armor as well. Um, I like being able to see the colors, but I wish it was a little glintier. Because I liked that too. It feels magical, you know? Well, this is looking lovely. We have some snow golems up top uh, finishing the snowy roof. And we'll put at least a little bit of snow and shaping in around this. Obviously, the rest of the area still needs work. So that will come over time. But I want a little bit of snow around the outside anyways. But guys, look at this. This is... This is my best interior that I've ever done and I'm so happy with it. I love it. It makes it, it just it just makes me happy, okay? I love it. Now, you've seen bits of this as I've built, but um yeah, I kept kind of playing with things and changing things. So now we have a little cozy corner here. I still feel like I should put some bookshelves in to be honest. Um of course, we've got we've got just cups everywhere and potions. Now over here, um, I I originally like put in an infinite water source and all of that, and then I was like, wait a second, we don't need that because for filling bottles, you don't need an infinite water source. You just need a single source to take bottles out of. So now we have this waterlogged mangrove root, and honestly, I'm really proud of that idea. Got our little serving counter over here and even a cup of coffee from our coffee machine. I feel like this is a good point to mention that I do have a buy me a coffee page now. Uh, I absolutely hate the monetization of hobbies that we are just kind of forced into. I hate it. But the medical bills do be piling up and there's not much I can do beyond this. So yeah, if you feel like it. Hop over there. Link's in the description. But as always, take care of yourself first. So back here in the employee area, we have a little staircase that leads downwards. And it's currently not dug out down here or anything. But we are going to have a little uh, potion ingredient dispensing area down here eventually. Now, you know what every path to a shop in Alaska needs is a good icy patch. Ah, uh, yep. That feels like home. Oh, yeah. Obviously, this is just a start, but oh, what a start it is to this area. Such a sentimental build to me. I love this. I'm so happy with it. But we don't have time to sit around and gawk at the pretty things that I like looking at. No, we have work to do still. We're going to be putting our cat area up on that hill and getting that farm going eventually, but not today. Because it's about time for us to get a heckin' wool farm going. We brought all the animals over here. We better do something with them. Hi, little sheepy. I have lost some of my sheepy friends. Would you like to come join me? Yes, yes. Because I have a nice little friend for you. Okay, so this is where we're going to build our sheep farms. And I hope to add one more, I think. Maybe. Actually, this might be enough. Yeah, this should be enough, actually. So this, this should be the entire space that our sheep farms for all the colors of the sheep take. This is the recent ENXO4 design. And I am... Starting out by hoping that I can just like use this one retaining wall between the two and it'll all be good But knowing me, it's probably going to cause a problem. It's fine And our wool farm is complete and functional and we're getting so many colors of wool filtered into <laughs> There it goes uh, Filtered into our chests here as you can see, we have little paths. Amy was <laughs> hanging out over here while I was finishing putting the sheep in their pen and um, put in, well, modified our bridge and it looks beautiful. 
and put in just paths to all the little farms that I have currently and signage and I'm I, I'm in love with it and yeah I'm very happy with this eventually soon we will put up the buildings around the farms and all that but not today we've done a lot of work and building and things today <laughs> Now, while we're out here in the nether, I wanted to show you a little piece of, uh, times past that I caught a glimpse of the other day. Ha <laughs> ha. And wanted to explore a little bit more. Somewhere, high up in the sky there, is, uh, pieces of a gold farm. I am very, very curious about it because this is obviously complicated. This is <gasps> okay. So there's the there's the rings way up there. You can hear angry pigmen. Well, let's do it. Let's fly up even farther. Okay. So yeah, this is kind of like the Il Mango design. Oh, never, at least as far as like how the spawning platforms are placed. I don't see anything that like screams player stand here to me. I am so curious about this. Oh, so we've got Piglin trading here too. That makes a lot of sense. Okay, well, if anybody knows anything about that, please, please, please tell me, because I'm very curious and I don't want to break anything, but also I really want to know what's going on there. So I've set up a little bargain barrel, and it currently says one diamond each, but we're actually going to change that to one diamond each slot. Anything that I dump in there will be a diamond per slot. So, like, right now I have a bunch of saddles in here because, you know, our fishing farm. I've been spending a lot of time there. I have saddles coming out of my ears. And then I think we're also going to add a couple of fishing rods, just in case somebody wants them. Who knows? Anyways, that's there. Uh-oh. Well, and there we have it, folks. We have done a lot of building lately, and I am kind of getting into the mood for maybe some technical work in the next bit or so so we'll see what happens in the next episode shall we thanks for coming along and i hope you enjoyed it if you did please do give a like and subscribe i will see you guys in the next episode i'm so happy with this building and i'm so happy we got started in the village but yeah i'd like to do some new things i'll see you in the next episode and maybe we'll do something cool Bye!